and we didn't want to overexert the poor guy. He's already been through enough, so we uh, we pulled him up slowly, little bit by little bit. Well, that's just one of the people who were in the right place at the right time as that dog was whimpering for help along the banks of the Minnesota River. Ed didn't have much time. He found himself in a pretty dire situation. Fox 9's Bab Santos joining us live now with the story of Ed and this harrowing rescue, Babs. Amy, this story all starts around 1.30 on Saturday afternoon with a call to 911. The dog truly has nine lives, just like a cat. And for 13 going on 14 years, George Niskin in St. Bernard, Ed, has been living the life. Ed has acre after acre of hilly, wooded terrain to roam free on, land that even borders the Minnesota River in Carver County. But this month, when the farm dog didn't come home to eat overnight, his owner started to worry until a group of more than a dozen canoers passing by brought good news and a tall task for Carver Fire Department Captain Chad Roche. He was obviously tired and stressed, but uh, he was still alive, and that's the main thing. I was uh, jubilated, uh, excited to the fact that he was found. Down along the banks of the Minnesota River, time was not on Ed's side. He was stuck deep in a paralyzing life or death situation. When the canoers came upon him, um, he let all the bark, which uh, help them find them. They happened to find our dog in this big soup mud pile down there and called 911. This is the trench where it happened. Alongside three volunteer firefighters, the canoers used paddles to dig Ed out and save his life. Once pride free, he was carted home about a mile away up the property. He didn't have anything in him. He he didn't uh, bark, he didn't uh, he whimpered a little bit, probably pretty uh pretty scared, but he uh <laughs> He's a survivor, obviously. Now, after a good bath and with a lot of rest, Ed is regaining his strength where he belongs, at home. Poor guy didn't have much much longer. And if they wouldn't have seen the dog, there's no way uh, he would have survived another day. Today, Ed's owner says he is doing a little better, starting to regain some strength. Everyone just glad today that he's back home. Back to you. Oh, good news. All right. Thank you, Babs.